welcome back to my channel people brown boss ja tours now today we'll be driving through the community of tucker st james montego bay we'll start off from the erwin area here and going past the primary school and the high school here um, in erwin so um if you are a montegonian and you you know travel this area you would know that the the roads here would have been like really bad all right but recently the roads have been fixed based on the um, developments that are actually going on in this area um new housing developments are being established so you know um the roads have been you know fixed to accommodate the new residents of the area so that's a really good look for this community all right so yes uh really 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 awesome experience here driving um i can't tell you how happy i am you know just traveling this area every day um not having to go through any pad roads it's uh it's a wish come true all right so we will actually go into the tuck um section right now as you can see there is a truck and there are a lot of trucks that goes through this area every single day if you drive um, on this road you will definitely uh, pass a truck but you know i don't like driving um close to trucks or driving behind trucks but on this day you know it was inevitable all right so come with me guys while we go through the area of tucker right now so as you can see yeah we have houses on either side of the road and funny funny enough you know when it rains um the the gullies and the the drain the drainage system around here is like poor uh when it rains the the water level rises really high sometimes uh it's even like hard for for traffic to go through you know we have to wait until the water subsides all right so hopefully this will be um fixed in the future proper drainage will be um installed or should be installed you know so as to uh direct the water better all right so there you can see that we we actually have a gas station which is a good look for any community to have its own gas station so yes guys um this is actually a sunday you know funny thing well we have a lot of cars so uh, there was a like a small event that took place here on this day you know so we ran into a little traffic and um the great big mighty truck had to stop as you know the truck drivers on the road they're like menace on the road sometimes they'll drive close to you just to intimidate you on the road but these truck drivers they're something else all right so parking at the side of the road so we had to stop um there was a coast so they're blocking well other vehicles as well parked at the side of the road so you know uh we got stopped for a moment all right but we should be free up as of now and the truck driver he will press the gas you know uh not easing up so that's it with the truck drivers they don't drive slow even when they're going around the corners they will give it their all but that's how it is you know driving in jamaica with these truck drivers you know you have to be mindful um especially when they're carrying like um materials for like construction well like stones they oftentimes fall out of the truck when they're driving and it can uh, it can uh, it can actually um damage your windshield because these stones they become live bullets believe it or not all right guys so just going through the area so you can see the garbage truck passing by 
um, for the collection of garbage on this Sunday. Alright, so most of the road will be uh, scanty at the moment until later when we have like the bars and so forth that will open and persons will come out. So these roads are really close, really close to the sidewalk. Um, it would seem as if there is no sidewalk. Oh yes. Um, well, I'm not there, the, these people are really brave and I, I couldn't do that. Living so close to the road. You know, I have to live um, a distance away from the road because anything is possible with these vehicles traveling at high speeds. You know, collision can oftentimes happen at your doorstep. All right, people. So we are approaching um, Seba Field there where we have like a go-kart, Montegupi go-kart and also a swimming a uh, pool that actually te teaches or give lessons for persons who want to learn how to swim all right so we're driving um we are pretty much we're outside the tucker area now all right so we're going to approach um the barnet tech area all right that road towards the right can take it to fairfield and um, we're gonna go across the bridge so the road that um, you see at the top there take you straight to Granville and pretty soon in the future if um, you look towards the right uh, Montego Bay bypass would actually be there as you can see some heavy equipment um, is actually parked there all right people so pretty much um, close to the Barnet Tech area where we have like the um, the various um, our different call centers conduit Vista print and so forth um, in this area All right, so we will soon approach the stoplight and um, go into the stoplight. If you go straight, that will take you to West Green, Catherine Hall and Mega Mart, um, that area. And if you go towards, if you go towards the right of the stoplight, that can take you to um, Westgate. And uh, furthermore, um, you can go to um, Barnet Street. Uh, downtown Montego Bay area so we'll go left as I'm going to the Freeport section um, if you continue straight it will just take it to um, Bogue all right so yes people thank you for stopping by again with me on this little journey as we go through Montego Bay all right, so Brown Boss, JA Tours, peace.